men, uh, mostly women. Sally? Yeah, ladies, are you struggling to lose weight or maybe suffering from anxiety or depression? If so, your symptoms may be part of a bigger health issue known as polycystic ovary syndrome. Dr. Rob is here to tell us all about it. Hi, Dr. Rob. Hey, good to see you. So you were telling me this is really misdiagnosed all the time. Underdiagnosed by 50% and misdiagnosed all the time. And one of the problems is the way that this syndrome is actually named. It's called polycystic ovary syndrome, but the actual defect isn't in the ovary, it's actually in the pancreas, and it has to do with really? insulin resistance. Oh my it just okay. happens to be that 50% of the women who get polycystic ovary syndrome happen to have cysts on their ovaries, but the underlying problem is insulin resistance from the pancreas and hypersensitivity of the hair follicles. When we were just talking about hair, the hair follicles actually become very sensitive to um, the excess androgens that are in the woman's bloodstream, high DE, DHEA levels and high testosterone, and particularly free testosterone levels. And that's what really drives this syndrome. And then they have all kinds of symptoms. And I know we have a list of those things, but what we see are the irregular periods or PMS that can be really severe. Difficulty getting pregnant. A lot of women will say, I just can't get pregnant. Or they have a lot of miscarriages. A lot of women with PCOS, what they have is about a 60% likelihood of miscarrying every time they get pregnant. A lot of weight gain, the acne that we see along the chin line, lots of sugar cravings is really common as well. And then besides the weight gain, we also see male pattern baldness, which is really can be very disheartening for a lot of women. A lot of excess hair growth, especially on the chin. And all these things can lead to a lot of problems. And a lot of women will start to suffer from depression and anxiety from this as well because it impacts the thyroid as well. So one of the first things you really need to do is if you think you have these things, go to your doctor and say, hey, I'd like to be tested for this. And they can do the serum blood test to screen you for polycystic ovary syndrome and see if that you have it. And then they can start to optimize your therapy. And therapy is directed at decreasing the insulin resistance. And we use specific medicines like metformin, which is an insulin sensitizer, to decrease the insulin resistance. When we do that, the symptoms improve, the weight starts to go down. Some women, we actually need to replace their progesterone. Progesterone is a progestational hormone. Helps you keep the pregnancy. And then we want to keep you on a low carbohydrate diet. The low carbohydrate diet helps you clean out all the blood sugars so you don't have so much of the insulin resistance. If you know you have cysts and you have some of these other symptoms, is that kind of a, a yes. light going off too? Yes and no. It can be a light going off that you may have this problem, but 50% of the women who have PCOS don't have cysts at oh, all, sorry. and 50% of them aren't overweight. What was really interesting is I just saw a patient uh, this past week, a very young girl, 17. She'd been to seven different doctors, and finally the last one said, I think you're crazy, and sent her to a psychiatrist. Oh, my goodness. So once we ran all the labs, we're like, no, you have PCOS. That's what the problem is. That's why your thyroid's not working. You have the insulin resistance. You're gaining the weight. You're having the irregular, painful periods. And then once we got her on medicines, she starts to feel better. How fast does... It, it depends. Everybody's a little bit different. They respond to the medications different. But exercise is key, getting plenty of exercise, staying on a low carbohydrate diet, getting the appropriate medications like the metformin and insulin sensitizer. And if they have blood pressure issues, getting on the right blood pressure medicine that can help with that, which also helps with the hair sensitivity as well from the excess androgens. How do we find you? Oh, you can find me at the alphamaleinstitute.com where we take care of women and men all the time. And we see a lot of, a lot of young girls and, and women with PCOS.